Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple quest. You're going to talk to one character, go buy something from another, go back to the, other, to the first character, and turn in the quest. Now, there's not a whole lot to it, and there's much more that can be done, and perhaps I'll, I will approach them in further tutorials. But for now, this is good for extreme beginners or someone who's never really experimented uh, with the quest editor. The first thing you want to do is create two NPCs. I've placed mine at the Anvil main gate. You can place them wherever you want. For this tutorial, it doesn't matter. Um, I've created Hank, who's just a hunter who's standing out, and Peter, who is a merchant that doesn't like Hank. The premise of the quest is Hank, well, Peter doesn't like Hank, and Hank only wants to buy arrows from Peter. So, you, are, you as the player are going to get the quest from Hank, go buy arrows. It doesn't have to be from Peter, but he's right there. You wanna, you're going to have to buy 20 steel arrows and bring them back to Hank, and Hank will pay you for, for doing that. That's easy quest. doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense, but it's a quest nonetheless. The first thing we want to do is open up the quest window. Now, when you have the quest window up, you're going to want to go over and create a new quest over on the left-hand side. Uh, right, just right and new. Uh, name it ABXX Tutorial Quest. You can really name it anything you want, but for sake of keeping everything the same between perhaps the version you're working on and the one that I have here on my screen, it'll be much easier if everything is totally identical. Next, you want to give it a quest name. It's named Mind Tutorial. And you'll see I have a script over here. I will add that script in a moment. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and I'll show you that script right now. Bring up the script editor. Open. And actually, for you, you're going to uh, go to script and create new. Now, once you have that up, uh, I'm not going to go very in-depth on scripting. Um, I might do that later on. There's plenty of tutorials around, no doubt. If there's not, well, I don't know. I kind of taught myself this. Um, first of all, you're gonna, you can either type in script name or SCN for short. And my script name is obviously, as you can see, ABXX Tutorial Script 01. You can name yours whatever you want. Just remember what it's named. Then you're going to want to begin game mode. This is going to begin as soon as the game starts and continue to run over and over until it doesn't need to run anymore. Add topic. Uh, ABXX tutorial zero one topic. Now we haven't created that yet, so we're gonna we're gonna leave this window open, but uh, while we do other things, the next thing to do is if player dot get item count arrow to steal is greater than or equal to twenty. So if if the player has at least twenty arrows on him and the current stage of the quest is zero, then set stage ABXX tutorial quest 10. Didn't mean to do that. Now, it might not make a lot of sense to you what all these things are right now. Some of the things we haven't created, I know, actually I should have waited before I brought this scripting up, but don't worry about it. Then on a new line, type end if, so that closes that if statement, and then on a new line down below, click end, or type end, I should say. That will end the s statement we started with begin game mode. Now leave that open in the background because it won't compile or won't save correctly until we finish doing other things and switch back to your quest window. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is go to quest stages. We're going to want to create three indexes, 0, 10, and 20. Go ahead and do that now. After the three have been created by, well, I should have shown you, right-click, new, you want to add a log entry to zero. Right-click on log entry and add new. And this is the first thing. When you first start the quest, this is what will be seen. You can read what I have here on the screen. Type that in or type something similar to that. On index 10, type in you bought the arrows from Peter. And then index 20, you gave the arrows to Hank. And, actually, I've changed that, 
since last time I was in here. Change that to that. Now, you'll notice on the right side I have a result script. Type that in uh, to your result script box. Like I'll explain it to you. When this stage is set by by a script or by however you do it, it's going to immediately do whatever is in that script box. So as soon as it's set and that changes your law or your your latest log entry to gave the arrows to Hank and he gave me 200 gold, it's going to run script player dot remove item arrow steel 20 and add item gold 200. Self-explanatory, I think. Complete. Make sure complete quest is checked since that is the final index. Go back up to 10, and you'll notice I have some conditions set. 